Hi there, in this video I'm going to challenge myself by going out with just the prime lens. A few weeks ago I made a beginner's lens guide video and this got me thinking about how I could go out and challenge myself to take pictures with just a prime lens. Now at about the same time I noticed Paul Compton, who was a fellow YouTuber, was asking for challenges for his channel. Now I sent Paul an invite, so if you've come over to my channel from Paul's, welcome. If you haven't seen Paul's channel, he's got some really great content, so go and check that out after the video. I'll leave a link down below in the comment. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the challenge that I sent to Paul and his response. Hi there Paul, I have a challenge for you. I came up with this challenge myself for my channel, but I thought it'd be interesting to collaborate on it and see how we tackle it differently. Lockdown has meant that we've got to really think of interesting ways to keep our photography interesting. Here's my challenge for you. Take just one prime lens out into your local area and see what images you can get. I'm going to use my 105mm macro lens as part of my challenge. When you're using a macro lens or a prime lens, you've really got to slow down and take your time because you've got to think very carefully about being in the right position to get a good composition. I'm really looking forward to this challenge and seeing your results. And don't forget to say hi to Mrs C from me. On my channel, I stress how important it is to enjoy your photography. So I hope that you really enjoy this challenge. Yeah, I'll take on your challenge. Darren sent me a challenge. Um, I've been doing this lately. I've been taking on a few challenges from people just to give me some inspiration to get out and shoot and to do things. So Darrell sent me this challenge last week and uh, it's take one camera with one prime lens on it and take photographs with a prime lens on. Well, I'm not doing it now. As you can see, I've got my 16 to 80 zoom lens on. So uh, I'm definitely not doing it today. But this is just a message to Daryl. Yes, Daryl, I'll take that challenge and I'll speak to you soon when I've got a few images to show you. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. We'll sort something out, you know me. But, but, but I will say this, prime lenses, I've only got an 18 mil, a 26 mil or a 35, whatever it is, and a 12 mil. So I think I might take my 12 mil Samyang and go massive wide angle. What do you reckon? Speak to you soon. So those are the challenges. Let's get on with the photography. If you haven't visited my channel before, you won't know that I've got a motto that is really important to me, and that is that you just enjoy your photography. I've known Paul and his wife Denise now for quite a while through being members of neighbouring camera clubs and I've watched his channel and thought about doing a collaboration for quite a while so it's great to get this opportunity to do this challenge together today. When you go out with just a prime lens, you've really got to slow down and think very carefully about your photography. You haven't got the ability to zoom in and out to get the right composition. The only way to do that is to physically move backwards and forwards to get the right framing of the shot that you want. So this morning, what I'm going to do is I've got three possibilities in mind that I'm going to be looking for. The first, because I've got my 105mm macro lens, I could look for very close-up shots and get some detail out of textures and small fine details. So that's one possibility that I've got today. The second is to get some really shallow depth of field shots. Because this lens has a maximum aperture of 2.8, I can get some really shallow depths of fields. So I'm going to look for that and the third one could be just plain landscapes. I can still do that with this lens, they're just going to be more zoomed in. So I found this really interesting tree stump just here with some great texture on it and some ivy growing up. I've managed to isolate one of the leaves and to make sure I've got it really sharp what I've done is I've turned the camera into manual focus and really zoomed in on the screen on the back of the camera to make sure I've nailed the focus. Then what I've also done is I've given myself plenty of depth of feel by using an aperture of f10. Um, I've set the camera on a two second delay so I'll make sure I get a really nice sharp shot. If 
find a little clump of snowdrops just here. There's one particular one just here that's isolated again that I quite like. Um, I've tried a few shots um, and now I have tried a focus stack. Now the problem is there's just a slight breeze and so this um, snowdrop is just bouncing up and down a little bit so it's going to be a little bit hard to focus stack it. Um, I might just have to pick the one that's the sharpest to focus and just use that particular one shot. I'll see how it goes. If you're enjoying this video, do me a really big favour and click like, subscribe and the bell notifications. That way you'll stay up to date with all of my future content. So I've just stopped by a field with some donkeys in, but I don't think I've managed to get any great shots because I was stuck up against a fence and only had a prime lens. I couldn't either get zoomed in close enough or zoomed out wide enough to get any really nice compositions. So I don't think I've got anything great there. But then my wife came past on her horse and I managed to get some close up shots of the horse's eye. Um, so I quite like those. So you can see the sun's got quite bright now and so I'm going to have to focus on macro shots and I found this drain at the end of a driveway and I've got the camera very low down to it and picked out a bit of detailing that's quite interesting and created quite an abstract shot. Somebody here with a sense of humour, I found a pair of legs with wellies on sticking out of a bush, so I've taken a shot of that. A bit of social commentary here, I'm going to get on my high horse. It made an interesting shot because the sunlight was just catching this beer can that's at the side of the road, but I just don't get why people have to throw things out of the window of the car, why they can't just keep it in the, the footwell and just throw it in the bin when they get home. It really wouldn't be that hard. Another sad state of affairs potholes. So as you can see, I've come into my local church. Now I'm friends with the verger and just happened to be here at the time, clearing out the churchyard and offered to open up the church and turn all the lights on for me. So that's great news, so that's really opportune. So I'll be able to spend some time having a look round to see if I can find any details inside the church. just spotted something that's really amused me. Up near the altar there's a really nice gold plate that's getting some really nice light coming through from the stained glass windows but next to it is a bottle of hand sanitizer so I just had to take that in the current conditions.
I'm not sure whether this counts as cheating, but I've done it anyway. I've taken a panorama of the view that you can see down the aisle, right the way up into the roof of the church, and I'm gonna stitch that together when I get back in the computer. I've come back outside into the churchyard and you can see behind me there's an absolute carpet of crocus and just over there there's some snowdrops as well. So I'm going to have a little play around and see if I can get some shots of these because they're catching the sun quite nicely but because there's so many of them I should be able to use the depth of feel that I can get from the macro lens to get some in focus and then throw all the rest right out of focus. It should be quite interesting. just taken some pictures of the crocus here and the trees behind me are creating some shadows across them that are creating some light and dark alternating areas all the way through the picture that is quite interesting. I've just had a bee come and visit some of the crocus and buzzing about between them and I've managed to get lots of shots of it. Hopefully one of them might have the bee in a good position to show it off. I'm walking back home across some fields and I've just come across this tree that's blown down in the recent wind that we've had and I couldn't resist taking a few shots here um, where the tree has broke um, it's created some quite interesting patterns. I really enjoyed making today's video. I was out taking photos for over five hours and now that was partly because I kept bumping into people around the village, but I did really enjoy the photography as well. It was a great challenge and something a bit different than I normally do. I can't wait to see what Paul does with his challenge. Go over to his channel and have a look at what he's done. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to him as well. Thanks a lot for watching this video. You can always go and see more of my pictures on my Instagram account, and that's at Oakden Photography. You can also message me there and down below in the comments. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell notifications. Watch out for next week's video. That goes live at four o'clock on Sunday. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. A few weeks ago, I made a lens and if you've seen that and come over to my channel I'll find a little and I managed to get some close-up shots of the horse's eye horse's high and the trees behind me are created that's because where the the bear trunk is the word I want so I'll wait and see what I'll, what the <laughs>